let's see what are the site code what are the developer framework provided by the site code there are three different frameworks which site code provide first is the nbc site code mbc then we have a site code jss and then we have a site code sxa so what it is if you see about mbc this is a traditional site code development framework which generally uses which uses a asp.net and the site code so asp.net mbc is the basic which we use which is used by the site code mbc then site code jss it is a headless framework okay and it, it uses a ui uh, javascript ui framework uh, it allows you to it allows you to work in the connected and disconnected mode so it is a combination of a site code and these uh, jss like is uh, like angular or react then you have a sxa it is site code experience accelerator this is a framework which allows you to speed up your development uh, by using reusing the component layouts and the templates uh, you can have various site created in the sxa so what is the skill set required as you know in mbc you will need a asp.net mbc along with that you must be knowing sql and the javascript for the jss you will need a ui framework so any language like react angular or a view it is required then you can have a S, also have a sql and javascript knowledge also and asp.net knowledge for sxa you can use a mbc as well as the jss uh, mostly it is jss which is preferred and then you should know sql and javascript okay then what are the ideal use cases which can be used uh, uh, which can be developed on this framework okay so for a mbc framework we have a complex and heavy business logic so if you your your project has a complex and heavy business logic then the m site for mbc is a preferred solution there are many integration with the third party then again the mbc is the uh, preferred solution then you have a traditional responsive website the digital on, only website uh, then it is it is a preferred one what about jss it is if you have a minimum cross browser experience and the rich and complex user interface so your interface is a very rich then i think you should think about the jss progressive web application uh, jss is the option native mobile app jss is the option if you have an application which is built as a kiosk and which can be over de uh, deployed on the desktop of a mobile or tablet as a kiosk then you should go for the jss sxa um, and also for a jss you have a single page application and then for sxa you have a content heavy website so if your your website has a lot of content then you prefer to buy sxa okay uh, you have a multiple websites okay which having a same scaffolding and style it has a static content then you prefer sxa informative website and there is no hardly any dynamic data so basically it's a information which is given it is a static website then you prefer sxa okay i have uh, for this um, selection of a mbc jss sxa i have written a detailed uh, blog in my uh, uh, details post in my blog okay which not only uh, tells you what are the parameters which you need to consider uh, let's let's uh, see this a uh, few uh, parameters which we need to consider like skills and capabilities so what is the skill of your team and the capability of your team that is very important while selecting the mbc jss and sx what is the cost which is involved now cost has a it, it can be a different cost like if you want to onboard a resource you have a cost okay you have to train the resource then it's a cost you need to take a li additional license for site where you say that is involved the cost so cost also very important speed to market when you want to launch it there might be some hard deadline then you have to think about which technology you want to use then the complexity in that uh, that uh, uh, project decoupling and a dependency of the site code there might be a case where you want you do not have much experience in the site code but you have experience in the ui then you have to select the jss so that kind of a, uh, dependency you have to see you have if your website has a, a lot of content is it a content friendly website then you have to see whether you can use a success single page application or a mobile ready application you have a dynamic logic or third party integration all these you have to see uh, so let's uh, let's walk through this uh, uh, my blog i will just walk through the it and to understand how you can select the mbc jss and sx what is the best uh, framework for me okay this is my blog 
and I have written this post site for MSC versus JSS versus SXA. In this post, I have explained each parameters uh, for which we should be considered for the uh, comparative study between MVC, JSS and SXA like skills and capabilities, uh, cost, speed to market, complexity. Okay, all the parameters are explained here. here. Uh, the most uh, important thing which I want to, to uh, explain from this blog is this one that is sample comparative study. So for every requirement, whatever you want to uh, to develop on the site for and you have to choose you want to choose the best uh, better framework then you can do this comparative study where you, you list down your all the parameters which is required uh, for uh, uh, for comparing between these three and give the weightage to each parameter and then rate rate the requirement or your organization depending on the uh, uh, the uh, the whatever the position you are in, in for each framework like let's take an example like skill and capabilities for this requirement uh i, I was not having any dotnet resource i was having the less uh, uh capability in the ui reactor uh, so that's why i rate it as a one uh so if you see here weightage is five so it became the uh, prorated as a five so basically weightage is how much importance it is for your organization like weightage like a uh, time uh, speed to market if it is very important to uh, for your uh, application then it will be goes high if it is not that much important then weightage will go low okay so so what i was saying is for the psycho cases i was not having any uh, resources so i rated it as a one whereas mbc we have a good site for mbc team who knows everything so i have rated it as a five Okay, similarly, I have rated six as a two. So at the end, for each each uh, uh, parameter, I have rated that they are rated, and then we see here the overall the number here three fifty two is the site for MVC, whereas two eighty four is a JSS and two ninety two was a SXS. So if from this comparative study, I will choose a, a site for MVC. So this is how you can you can also plan your uh, requirement which framework you want to choose.